brought to you by the community of certified B Corporations. Okay, my name is Megan James, and I am the photographer you've seen wandering around all day today. Um, yeah, here I am, Be More, that's my title. Um, my story started in 2013 when a tornado struck Moore, Oklahoma, killing 24 and injuring 212 others. It was at that moment that I decided to lead my community and donating 100% donating back from the uh, photography sessions that I did back to the American Red Cross Disaster Relief Fund. With just taking two hours out of our day, we were able to donate hundreds of dollars back to the American Red Cross, just our tiny little community. You guys, it was at that point that I looked back at myself and I realized that it was my desire to give back hugely outweighed my desire for a bigger paycheck. So I kept looking back at myself, my small little sole proprietor business, and I asked myself, what else can I do? And it was at that point that I realized I have my own story. My husband lost his mother in 1998 after a six-year battle with Lou Gehrig's disease. She was just 45 when she passed away. So in 2014, I reframed my business model. I donate 10% back to the ALS Association, 10% of my revenue, and another 10% of my revenue to the charity of a client's choice. <sighs> Sorry, okay. All these stories and all these clients of mine, they each have a different motivation. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just looking at my clients and their stories. Paulo, Paulo Diaz contacted me in 2014, told me that his sister, Paz, had been diagnosed with cancer for a second time, and this time she couldn't fight it. So I decided to take Paulo's session and donate 100% of those proceeds back to the MD Anderson Cancer Research Center. Paz passed away in 2015, leaving behind her husband, her daughter Audrey, who was six, and her son David, who was only two. I've had the pleasure of working with the Sells family on three different occasions, and all three times we donated to the Rose Brooks Center, a place where domestic violence victims can escape their abusers. With all that money that we raised from those sessions, we were able to help fund a pet shelter for fur babies who could also escape their abusers. All these stories, again, they keep adding up. And this, what's funny is it's given me a new hope that me and my clients, we are all connected through our desire to do and to be more. Maggie Cody, I grew up with her in Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha is my hometown. Maggie Cody is 33, and at the age of 32, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. I am working alongside Maggie to go back to my, own, to my hometown in Omaha, Nebraska, on May 14th to provide sessions where 50% of my photography sessions are going to help fund her medical expenses. Love you, Maggie. All these stories, they keep adding up, and every client has a different reason and a different motivation. And in a world where sometimes everything just seems so overwhelming and daunting and just plain shitty sometimes, it's a way to know that I am making a difference. These lives, these families, and these individuals impact not only myself, but my family and my two children. This life is finite, but the impact we leave, it is infinite in its legacy. We as the B Corp community, we are strong, we are leaders, and we are truth seekers. But you know what? We can still be more. Some of you probably follow the Humans of New York and some form of social media. Brandon Staten started Humans of New York as a way to photograph his community and his city. And just recently, he started incorporating interviews into the process. And just this last month, he interviewed a gentleman who was lost in life. He had no motivation. He lost his passion. And he said he found his passion. And his comment when he found his passion was, once I lit my fire, people came to sit around it. Can you imagine if we all lit our fires and decided to be more? We, as the B Corp community, would be unstoppable. So my challenge to you 
is to raise the bar. We know to be the change, but you know what? Let's be more. <laughs>